let's take a look at how to warp text using Photoshop CC. So I'm here in Photoshop CC. I'm going to create a new document that will be just a standard US paper size. And we'll go to OK. And we'll go ahead and select the Type tool, which is the T here. You could also hit T on your keyboard. Let's go ahead and change the color to black so that we can see it on this white canvas. And if you want, you can go ahead and predefine a particular font that you like. I like Myriad Pro. Don't worry about the size unless it's super tiny. Go ahead and just tap and we'll put in some type. I'm going to go ahead and put in my website here. And then you have to click the check to commit or the cancel button. You get two options. So I'm going to click the check. You always have to click that when you edit text. If you want to move the text, you use the arrow tool. And if you want to resize the text, you could, of course, go to the type tool, select the text, and change the font size. Or I find it easier just to hit Control T, which enables free transform. And then you can drag one of these corner points. And if you hold Shift, it will keep your text in proportion. And then you have to click this check again every time. And now, if you want to warp the text, you can go ahead and select the text layer that you want to warp and click on this little arc with the T above it. That brings up the warp text dialog. We can choose arc if we want to arc the text. And now we have a few different options. We can arc it different ways, vertically or horizontally. We can adjust the amount of the bend. We can make it kind of bigger on one side or the other. We kind of change the vertical distortion of it. You get some pretty wacky effects here. I'm going to do a control Z to undo that. Let's try some other effects here. Let's look at arc lower. There's arc upper. So these will work for posters, for logo designs, for just about anything that you could want to put text onto and have the text look a little creative. I like this flag one a lot. This gives you a nice wavy effect. Something for your surfboard company logo, perhaps. There's fish. Can't imagine anybody would ever use fish, but I don't know, maybe there's some bait shops out there that use this a lot. And rise. And then there's a lot of these that are just kind of silly. You probably won't use them, but they're here in case you want these effects. Let's take a look at another way to warp the type. Let's go to the type menu and choose rasterize type layer. Now what that does is that changes this from editable text into just an image of text. And this is going to be a destructive way to edit, so you won't be able to go back in and change any of this text at this point. We'll go to the Edit menu, and we'll go to Transform, and then Warp. And if you pull these corners, you can, of course, warp this. Now, it's going to get a little blurry because this is not vector, but you could warp this text all around however you like. And now you get kind of a custom warped text effect. So there you go. That's a couple different ways to warp text using Photoshop CC. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video and share it with your friends. And don't forget to click the subscribe button to get updates when I release new videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.